Okay, we've got to find the area of this shape here, OABC. Now, OAB is a triangle, and we can work that out, so I'm going to work out area OAB uh, using trigonometry. Well, that's a half B, AB, sorry, it's half times 12, times 16, times sine, oops, sine of 60. Now, when you stick that in your calculator, it comes out as 48 root 3. All right, which I'm actually going to leave as 48 root 3 for now. Um, I know it says correct three significant figures, but I will deal with that later. I don't want to round too early. So that's, um, we've done this part here, so all, all done here, so that's in red and blue. I've got to work out this part, but I've got to find this length. I've got to find the radius. And I'm going to do that using um, the cosine rule. So the cosine rule is going to be, and I'm going to do it all in one sort of swoop, plus 16 squared minus 2 times 12 times 16 times cosine of 60 all right and that's going to give me 4 root 13 okay again notice I'm not going to um, actually put in my calculator yet but that is the radius okay of that sector of circle so now I'm going to area of OBC equals pi times uh, 4 root 13 squared times 38 over 360 all right which gives me and 988 over 45 pi okay and then I'm going to add these two bits together to get the total area which is going to give me and it gives me uh, what was it 152 uh, I ought to put a plus there, 152.1138508, which when I round it to the three significant figures it asked me for, gives me 152. Notice I haven't rounded till right at the end, um, and secondly, yeah, I, it's all cosine rule trigonometry, all the formula at the front of the paper, don't forget to look there, lots of people do forget to look there, all right, you don't need to remember most of these formulae. Um, so there you go.